So in this example, we are going to learn how to tackle at least one type problems. So in a certain country, 52.7% of the babies are born male. A family plans to have five children. So the first question we have is, what is the probability that at least one of these children of the five is male? So if you think about what that means, we're being asked, what is the probability this, this family has one male or two males or three males or four males or five males, okay? Um, so in this case, we could use the addition rule, but that would take a lot of work because then we would need to calculate the probability of one male add it to the probability of them having two males, add that to the probability of three males, four males, five males, so on. Um, so we're gonna use a shortcut that makes this a little bit easier. And what we're going to do is we're gonna use the fact that the event of getting at least one male is the complement of the event of getting zero males or no males. And therefore we can use the complement rule. So the probability of at least one male is equal to one minus the probability of no males. Okay, and here, as I said, I'm using the complement rule. And I can use it because at least one male is the complement of no males. So this is equal to one minus the probability of all females. And if I were to write this out, I could say this is one minus the probability of getting five females in a row. So I'm gonna, not gonna write the and, but this would be female for the first child and female for the second child and female for the third child and female uh, for the uh, fourth and fifth ch children, okay? Um, since the um, gender of each child is independent in each birth, um, I can actually use the multiplication rule for independent events here. And I can rewrite this as one minus the probability of a female raised to the fifth power. Now, you might be wondering, what is the probability of a, 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 a child born being female? So I'm going to use the complement rule again. And that probability is given by 1 minus the probability of a male child. Okay, and that is just 1 minus... Okay, now if I calculate this, I'm gonna raise this to the fifth power, and then I'm gonna subtract that quantity from one. Now I'm going to round this decimal to three decimal places. Uh, since this number is a three, which is less than five, I leave the six alone. And so this is about 97.6% is my final answer for part A. So let's do part B. What is the probability of at least one child being a female? We are going to follow the same exact approach. Um, the probability of at least one female is equal to one minus the probability of no females, zero females, okay? And that's because I'm using the complement rule once again, because this event, at least one female, so that's one, two, three, four, or five females, is the complement of zero females or no females. So here I can use the complement rule. So another way to say no females is I can say all males. 
So every single child is a male. So in other words, one minus uh, male, 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 male. And so these are and statements. I didn't write the and because it would take me forever, but that's male for the first child, male for the second child, male for the third child, male for the fourth child, and male for the fifth child. Um, since the gender of each child um, is independent in each birth, meaning if I have a child, a uh, male for the first baby, that is not going to affect uh, the probability of me having a male or a female for the second baby. So I can use the multiplication rule for independent events, and I can write this as probability of male times probability of male times probability of male, etc. So that's just the probability of having a male raised to the fifth power, which is one minus, and in this case, I don't need the complement. Um, probability of male was given to me in the problem. So I just use five to seven. I raise this to the fifth power, and that is equal to 0 0.9595 dot 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 we're gonna round this to three decimal places okay so there is about a 95.9 percent .9 chance or a 0 0.959 uh probability of having at least one female child